I first came upon a link to a short video on Twitter of a Chinese-speaking guy boasting about how the CCP was able to fix everything between the US and China before 2016 or before Trump was elected because the CCP had its own people at the top at the core inner circle of power and influence in the US. I was shocked to hear such open admission, so I started to search who the speaker was and at what kind of circumstance did he make such a speech. I soon found that the speaker Di Dongsheng is the vice dean of the School of International Relations of Renmin University or the People's University of China, the vice director of secretary of the Center for Foreign Strategic Studies of China. You know, Renmin or the People's University is a top university especially for training high-level CCP officials and the Center for Foreign Strategic Studies of China is a leading foreign policy think tank. So, the speaker is not a nobody but an important figure instead. Then I found out that Di Dongsheng had actually uploaded his own speech to his own YouTube channel. It is a 14 minute long video, but the part that I watched before was not in his own video. So I contacted the person who shared the link to the first shorter video I saw on Twitter. He told me that video was already deleted but it was lucky that he was able to find it on a telegram platform. So he sent me that shorter video which is only 7 minutes long. I compared the two videos and found that the story of the old lady from a leading Wall Street company helped the CCP to bully the bookstore owner in Washington DC was taken off by Di Dongsheng when he uploaded his own 14-minute video. So I added that story back to its original place and translated the whole thing into English and that is the 18-minute video everyone can see on my YouTube channel now. By the way, after I published this 18-minute video, all the original videos, shorter or longer, have been deleted from all platforms in China. Di Dongsheng's 14-minute video was also deleted from his own YouTube channel. Why? Obviously, because too many top secrets are revealed. I plan to do another video to comment on Di Dongsheng's 18-minute speech. So please subscribe to my channel Inconvenient Truths by Jennifer Zeng and stay tuned.